Conservative New Media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time National Power FC champion, joined by Paul F. Villarreal. We're talking WWE, Sports Entertainment, Night of Champions. And it was CM Punk versus John Cena for the championship situation here. And Paul, Cena was talking a lot of stuff. But in the end, it was an interesting finish. Bottom line is, Punk leaves with the title, facial for Cena. You're talking all this stuff. Punk's still the champion. He's had the strap for a long time. What are you going to do now, Cena? Paul, talk about this situation. This finish was crazy. This was a great match. Uh, I really enjoyed watching this match. There were multiple kickouts out of finishers. Mm -hmm. I think CM Punk kicked out of uh, the AA twice. Uh, John Cena kicked out of the go to sleep, I think, twice. And he kicked out of a Randy Savage uh, imitation elbow. And he kicked out of a rock bottom that CM Punk did. I mean, it was incredible. You saw Paul Heyman and CM Punk getting frustrated. They just didn't know what they had to do to beat John Cena. But at the end of the match, essentially, John Cena beat himself. Because he went for a reverse suplex, suplex off of the second rope in one of the corners. And he, he, he got it, he hit it, and he put CM Punk's uh, shoulders against the mat for the three count. Unfortunately for Cena, his shoulders were also on the mat for the three count. Double count out, draw, CM Punk retains the title. And after the match, just to make sure that the respect angle was uh, maintained, he uh, took the belt and clocked Cena with it. <laughs> so yeah. If CM Punk already wasn't playing super heel in this thing, this was in Boston, of course, John, John Cena's hometown, or very close to it. Uh, CM Punk wrestled in Yankee pinstripe trunks and leggings. Yes! <laughs> so, just, just to kind of rub it in a little bit more, look, this was great. This was an excellent match. It was entertaining. The fans were very pumped up to it, and up on it. They were cheering at one point. This is awesome. It was just, it was great. Had everything for it. Felt a little bit bad for John Cena. He, he, he really showed a lot of uh, strength and, and uh, endurance and will to win, but he messed himself up at the end, and CM Punk took advantage of it. CM Punk is smart. He knows how to get that, that microphone and use the pipe bomb. And now he's combined with Paul Heyman and that type of situation, getting back to that whole deal with Paul Heyman and everything like that. And he did what he needed to do. He went in there. I like it. I like the way he was go. He was trying to not just attack John Cena in my personal opinion. First of all, personal opinion only. Not like the facts. Not cast the person. All for entertainment purposes only. Please check the disclaimers. But, you know, like you said, Paul, where are those Yankee pinstripes? Is that a punk out, not just to John Cena, and, and a punk out to the Boston uh, uh, fans, and the Sox fans, and the Cena fans, and everybody right there? And he said, hey, you know what that message may have been? The message may have been, I'm the champion, I'm going to come into Cena's hometown, and I'm going to punk out Cena, and I'm going to punk out the Sox fans, and I'm going to punk out all of Boston, and I'm going to leave the strap. Is that what we're talking what about? That's what it looked like. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm talking about, dude. And what are you gonna do now? What's gonna happen with with CM Punk? He's now got the whole thing. He has, in my personal opinion, he's punked out uh, the uh, Boston. He's punked out the Sox fans. He's punked out John Cena on multiple occasions. He's punked out AJ Lee, Raw General Manager. What is what is what is Punk gonna do now? Well, I mean, think about think about this. Think about the kind of confidence. The kind of, of that, that's it right there. The kind of confidence, the kind of swagger that Punk is going to have now, having beaten Cena in his hometown, Paul, what do you think is going to happen now with Punk? Look, I just was going to say before, Sam Punk has now been the champ for 300 consecutive days. Coming up on a whole year. This guy has taken over sports entertainment. Since his, uh, as you mentioned, the pipe bomb, since his epic rant last year on Raw when he kind of did a shoot, uh, the shoot, shoot promo. Looked like, and then he went away, but he won the title. This guy's dominated everything. And I, I don't know, I don't know who's going to stop it. If John Cena can't stop it, 10 time WWE champion, I believe. If John Cena can't stop it in his hometown, I don't know who is going to stop it. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's incredible. Is it going to take some kind of other force? Is it going to take something like like a, a, a rock to coming back 
and trying to set things right in the WWE. What about the big question mark with Brock Lesnar? What's Brock yep. Lesnar's next move? Go ahead, Paul. You know, that's, that's what I was thinking. It might take somebody like Brock, like Brock Lesnar. Uh, I mean, you know, you might even, we saw last night at Saturday Night Live, uh, uh, Cy had to come in and lay the smack down. You might need some type of intervention like that. Oh, God. It's just, just crazy. I never even thought about that. I never even thought about that. What if you had that? That's what I'm talking about. What if you had Cy and Gangnam Style coming over here to just fight right now against CM Punk and do something like that. I mean, can we see a star from like all Japan wrestling or something like that coming over here? I mean, we've seen Lord Tensai coming back to the WWE and all that type of situation. I mean, you've seen, you know, a superstar like Sin Cara and everything like that, you know, going with the luchador type of style. I mean, anything can happen. And I don't know, I mean, we, I think CM Punk now has got some kind of control over this championship situation. And right now it's CM Punk's show. But how is that kind of balance of power going to maintain or possibly be upset, Paul? That's what I'm talking about right here. We need to hear from you fans out there. I want your reaction to this pay-per-view. Night of Champions, CM Punk still has a strap. And John Cena is punked. What happens now? Tell me what's going on. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion. That is Paul Villarreal. Please rate this video up. Also, please post to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.